The best part is I didn't even have to instruct him. He was already just doing the jaunty dance. Oh, man. This is a great thing. Oh, thanks. You didn't have to do that. We weren't fishing for compliments or anything. See, this is why we had to throw Josh off a cliff, because he wouldn't let the beautiful themes play out. He kept turning them off, and that was just unacceptable. <laughs> and he wouldn't yeah. dance to them. So welcome, Jesse. Um, our guest today is a fish biologist and writer. Hello. Thank you ah. for having me. It's great yeah, to be of course. Here. Thanks for coming on. Our two viewers are very thrilled, I'm sure. What's up, two viewers? Hello. Oh, where do you get to see the viewers? I want to see where the viewers are at. This might be um, privileged information guests don't okay, get to know because he's on the guest list. This is classified. Link. Yeah. I have a lot of thoughts about what you did and did not think was a fish. Oh, hell yeah. Earlier. If, um, I mean, starting at the top, eels, did, did you guys settle when they are fish? Um, that was your I, 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 I have, but the, a little birdie told me that they were, they were fish. And no, you were told by birds. So. Okay. Hmm. Not what not are, a classical fish, but a, a sensual fish, I think, was you the distinction. Speak? Regis Philbin, final answer, fish? Eels are um, fish. Sorry. Eels are fish? That's, eels are fish. Okay. Dolphins, not right. fish. Dolphins are not fish. I knew no. it. Dolphins, are Dolphins weren't fish. I'm just, like, making a declaration here. That is also true. Yeah. Wait, so... Well, well, not well. Okay, so you have ancient fish evolving, and then you have the first tiktolic, the first... Uh, what is it like? Four limb limbed reptile looking thing that crawled out of the ocean or whatever. Those do a bunch of evolving on land. Then you get your mammals, and then some of the mammals evolve to go back into the ocean. That's your whales and dolphins. So they're like, we tried this land thing. It's not working out. Actually, kind of. But let's go into the sea. Uh, but yeah, not not currently fish. No. That's not right, and they did really. it for. You know, for better efficiency, that's thus right. becoming loved that, fish in sea. So you, you already made that joke. I need you ipso to ipso facto. Yeah, I, no, this is not. This is just my argument. All right, like it's, it's like being a lawyer. You have to really like set up your point in your initial argument so that you can like return to it during the cross examination. Yep. Do, do you want me to? Here, here's where I think you went wrong in your list of ten fish. Mm -hmm. um, I think you were off to a great start with things like tuna and mm -hmm. salmon. Um, and then if you See, just, you know, I, think, yes, I, I, she I had to interrupt you because you were beginning to compliment me and she won't let that stand. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, I just have to contradict you there because I sure. had heard that you can tune a guitar, but you can't tune a fish. So clearly a tuna is not a fish. You can tune some fish. That's what people don't know. That's what they oh, I didn't know. You know you're not going to hear stuff like that on the, on the evening news, of course, but. Uh, but uh, sharks are fish. You could have probably knocked out another three or four with sharks. You might know. You know they're cartilaginous fish. They're different subclass of fish, but they're technically all fish. Well, see, and that's why I was trying to get dolphins in because I'm trying to get sharks mm -hmm. out, right? So, like, yeah. I don't like. I know this is a lot of people consider this, you know, a bit like reactionary and you know racist. But I don't like cartilaginous fish. I don't trust you them. Don't like the cartilaginous guys. No, uh, you know, like cartilaginous Jalenda Esther, whatever the Roman phrases so um yeah we we need to uh burn all of the shark habitats down and salt it so that they can't uh respond again yeah, more and more people are saying that um mm -hmm. i was just reading something insane about sharks about how long when did they first evolved how long sharks evolve is what i googled for this just useful uh okay sharks started becoming a thing between 50 and 35 million years ago um, whereas human civilization, you're looking in the, in the tens of thousands of years. That's so. really cool. And they survived uh, five mass extinctions, apparently. Yeah, so. actually, I just watched a documentary about sharks the other day. I'm trying to remember what it was called. Jaws. Uh, no, actually, it was something People else. People get mad at you if you say that. Let me just check. Look it up here. So while she's doing that, I really want to, uh, since we're doing compliments corner here, Please. I really want to admire your like Colonel Kurtz Apocalypse Now setup, where you're kind of like <laughs> just deep in shadow and kind of staring off into the middle of distance. I have like, saying this like, like shocks, Christmas lights. Here. Shocks never change. I was hoping this would be brighter than it is, so it wouldn't look like I'm like in a hideaway cabin on my ranch or whatever. 
but it's good it's very like it, it lends gravitas that's and it also it covers weight gain i don't you know i don't know if that's your thing yep. but that was definitely brando's thing so hey after three freaking years of the pandemic eating all sorts of things i shouldn't be eating yeah well once you become live streaming experts like us like i've this is why i've got this gimmicky desk setup so it's I just the right setup. height to cover my paunch so gotcha. it gets basically kind of grown linearly with the episodes we've done but you can't tell because it's you know it's what is it's a paunch is a punch like the, this section of your stomach here i th i thought it was just like a polite way of saying gut my gut okay see that's where i'm gonna have some issues i anticipate in terms of what i'm choosing to eat right but you can just turn the lights darker sure that's what i've done that's what i've done <laughs> yeah well you're that's probably why you're doing stuff. a podcast and not a live stream I that's guess. right that's i've been trying to convince kelly for it to do a podcast so i can just let myself go but yep. yeah well and that's probably a good segue into your setup because you this is a pretty new project for you you've started up a blog and you were telling me you thought sure. about doing a podcast I sure did and as we cannot abide a podcast uh we really thought it would you know behoove us to try and convince you that no what you should be doing is like a a baffling baroque live stream that's very hard to explain or pitch to people uh far more respectable than a podcast i was just thinking this this morning yeah i love this idea mm -hmm. i'm here for it yeah, you can use our streaming account because I'm paying through the nose for it and I keep forgetting to use it. Is it like a monthly thing where they get you? The... It is, yeah. Yeah, that's how they get you. Yeah, I've, uh, I don't know, I do a lot. But you can't days. put a price on being able to do this. Oh my God. That's true though. <laughs> yes, I was looking at this yesterday. Um, I wasn't, okay, that, saying that makes it seem like I was, okay. Let me read you were it. looking at that <laughs> picture yesterday? Somehow, that, <laughs> someone on my Twitter retweeted that picture of a fish and a person making intercourse. And I feel like I'm never going to forget that. Like, when I'm dying on my bed or something, that's going to be, like, the last thing that flashes in my head. It's, like, one last injustice from this world to oh, see making. something like that. We got this comment, which I can only assume is in response to that picture. Right. I assume yeah, it's in response yeah. to my takedown of sharks, but you know we can all get to our, have our own interpretation of it. Yeah. Stingrays too. You realize you lumped in the dang stingrays with the cartilaginous fishes. Just saying. Yeah, yeah, well, you know what? They're, like they're guilty by association with sharks. That's right. I think what I don't like about cartilaginous fish is that it has the word cartel in it, so it just yeah. immediately makes me think like crime. Like yep. that's why they, that's why where we came with the term sleeping with the fishes, right? Yep. <laughs> Sleeping with the cartilage. A lot of people are saying fishes. this more and more. I'm seeing, I'm seeing this <laughs> constantly. You're right. Mm -hmm. You're absolutely right. Can't trust him. And yeah. stingrays killed Steve Irwin, so. That's they true. Can, they can't That's be forgiven. They can call it a go. freak accident if they want, but. You think it was a tar targeted, <laughs> some sort of targeted hit of some kind? Yeah, it's a conspiracy. Who paid the stingray? Consp conspiracy. Yeah. Okay. Conspiracy! But they already go. took this to so <laughs> Netflix. Uh, the kind of uh, I haven't seen it, but I've heard like some Monica researchers don't like it. Diet. Conspiracy is a documentary on Netflix about like fishing or something. Oh uh, yeah. Oh. I yeah. remember. I don't know what about it sucks, but I remember seeing some criticism. But point is, yeah. they already stole your on there. I'm sorry, and they trademarked it, so you won't be able to. I did hear about that. I remember looking up why it sucked briefly. Um, I think they just used some shoddy or like maybe like extrapolating or hyperbolizing some study that was like all the fish will be gone by 2050 which is like not true but fish no, do they'll be gone it. by 2040 <laughs> it's, it's like they are fish are under a huge amount of like threats across the globe depending on the species whatever but it's not like gave the impression they were like scooping them out with a big shovel or something like all of them yeah ones, but yeah, it's, I mean, yeah, it's the Michael Moore thing where they're yeah. taking a, a serious problem that we should need to look at and address, but then, like, also, like, blowing it up, taking things out of context, making it sound worse than it is to make it, yeah, like, exactly. sensationalized, which makes it, which almost, like, works against the movement, I would say, because then it's people are like, well, all these things are wrong about this. Why would I care if this, these yeah. people are lying to us? I think a lot of the researchers would, would agree with you that, like, that kind of like misinformation doesn't really help in the end because then you just give people plausible deniability to be like, well, you lied about this thing. Why wouldn't you? Yeah. Yeah. You're absolutely right. Same thing. Similar stuff happens in climate space of like 
people doing sensationalized headlines that aren't necessarily true, but blowing it up anyways. Do you think Steve Irwin death tape will leak on our lifetime? I thought this did happen. Am I mistaken no. on that? Oh god. If I you're in the that. audience and you have the Steve Irwin death plate death tape, please send it in. I, please God don't what an insane like thing to videotape though, poor guys. But like Oh, it does exist. Ugh. I wonder, I think the, maybe I was thinking of the estate was like suing to be like, don't release this, please, or something. I saw something in the news about poor Steve Irwin and his, that poor Stingray. I mean, the Stingray, I guess, got, nobody wants that kind of interaction, you know? Mm. So if, yeah. if you had to be killed by some sort of marine animal, I guess I have two questions. One, which one do you think it will be in the end is going to is going to Steve Irwin you? And the other question is, which one would you prefer it to be? Oh, this is tough. Okay, okay. So I have the one I I tell you I don't want to go out like R.I.P. to the king. I love Steve Irwin. I think I don't know. I haven't really done it. I don't know that much about Steve Irwin. Put an asterisk. But, you love him in case yeah. uh, pending nothing coming out about him. Like there's someone's going to be like, oh, you didn't know Steve Irwin did. Uh, he's super canceled, and then I'll be like. Oh my god! How could yeah, I have done he that? was molesting that stingray. He was, yeah, he was doing something unconscionable. Mm. Uh, but I, I, what I believe about stingrays is they're they're bar they have barbs in them, so that must have been extremely painful. Uh, yeah. To get stabbed, I don't want to get stabbed by anything. I think I would rather be taken out by. Oh, I my instinct here is to say shark, but I, that doesn't sound good either. Like I any, feel like is I would it any want... marine organism or what are the rules here? I mean, I feel like because if you're getting Steve Urban, you kind of have to be doing your job. So your job isn't like your job is like basically fish shit. Yes. So you have to be yeah. somehow working and gotten by one of the animals that's like in your my computer study. Well, I mean, I like, mean would you ever be in some here. sort of like, like little like rickety mm. wooden swamp boat, like in a bayou? Because if you were, even if you're there no. for the fish, I feel like getting got by an alligator does count. Yeah, as far as the uh, river biology stuff, I've mostly only been uh, on like the computer end. I haven't gotten to be do much field work yet in the river, but I come from a background where doing deep sea ecology at the University of Hawaii for grad school. And we would go out on like research cruises, they call them, to like, you know, deploy beta traps and instruments and stuff. Um, and I would not be killed by any of the deep sea fish we caught up because unfortunately they like are going to be dead when you pull them up um, from bear trauma, which is the pressure changing. Um, but what's more likely is being killed by like a falling piece of machinery or something <laughs> or like the scariest way of dying that my, well, my, my grad student mentor, a great guy, he was like, you got to be careful about this because if they're throwing a big heavy trap in the water and there's a big line attached to it and there's a big loop in that line and if you put your leg in that loop, as that thing falls, it'll tighten around your leg and it'll drag you off the boat into the bottom of the sea, into Davy Jones's locker, of course. Good Lord. So you'd be sinking. Sorry to give anyone who has terrible fear of drowning in the ocean, but the idea of sinking... Uh, Faster than you can deal with looking up and you're like, well, I'm just in the water now. And then seeing all the lights slowly fade away and you're like, now I'm food for deep sea fish. Um, so that is probably the way I will be killed, perhaps. Right. Um, that syncs up with the way I want to be killed, which is not that exactly, but like basically the same experience you're describing, mm -hmm. but some sort of like, um, like very sentient, gigantic octopus, like bringing yes. me down, but in a way that it's like it's trying to love me, but doesn't realize it will kill me. I think that's the way I want to go. That sounds nice. Yeah. The way I that's... will go if it's a work situation at this point in my life is probably like bear o trauma, but that's like bear hyphen o hyphen trauma, which is getting mauled by a bear when I'm taking a piss. That could happen, right? Probably will, yeah. What kind of bear you got there? Uh well let me think maybe let me maybe ten bears here. Oh okay. <laughs> It's leaning over with steepled fingers, like yeah, go on, ten bears. Yeah, Let's you got uh, all right. So you got your black bears, nailed it. You got your brown bears, love it. Um, I I feel like as a child, I was certain there was a real distinction where there's some like a grizzly bear is something distinct. Yes. Uh, I don't know if that's true, and I don't care to find out. I pr I'm pretty sure that's legit. You've got now, polar now bears. you found out polar bears, of course. Got it. Uh, mm -hmm. you've got panda bears. Sure. You've got uh I'm gonna I'm gonna use the phrase koala bears. 
uh you've got uh here here in alberta uh at the university here we have golden bears um which are definitely not a made-up mascot uh you've got uh what else is it uh shit Pol- did i say polar bears you, you did. did say polar bears and i'm sorry i gotta cut you uh you one point by the koalas are, are not actually bears technically they but people Marcy say bears. bears and so i'm steaming through it oh that's, that's right that's why i wanted to add the drop bears yes and i'm gonna not look at the chat and say gummy shit fuck you already had it okay, <laughs> okay i'm taking that off no i'm not cheating uh you've got your build you bears it. you've got build bears and you've got bear arms, which we love to see in the summer. That's right. I have a sweater on, but all of those might kill me, especially the drop bears. I hear they're really bears. bad in Canada. Oh, what? water bears! Those are nice. The little guys. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I can't remember the technical term for them, but water bears oh, sounds cuter. So. Oh boy, tardigrade. Yeah. Do I don't think this? you can say that word anymore. They're very. <laughs> it's, I do wonder if they're going to change that. Probably not. Moss piglets. You can call them moss piglets. That's <gasps> oh, I love fun. that even more. That's so cute. Yeah, and that doesn't have a weird uh, word that at least feels problematic. <laughs> moss I, piglets. Yeah. Segmented it only sounds micro-animals. problematic because I pointed it out and made it sound problematic. So that's right. Well, I mean, <laughs> please don't. Please don't. We're, let we're it all thinking it. it every time. I don't know. Mm. Now, of moss all the piglets. people here, the one most likely to be killed at animals at work, though, I think, is Nicole. That's possible. That's, yeah, it seemed for possible sure. from what you were describing. Yeah. Yeah. One day the mice are gonna take their vengeance out on me. I've dreamed about it several times. Mm-hmm. Um, I like hate Willard. Them. Hmm. Are you familiar with Willard? Will- Willard? The the movie where Christian Crispin Glover controls rats with his mind. I think. No, but I can see Crispin Gov- Glover playing that role very well. I don't remember anything about it other than that sentence that I just described, but. Yeah. That's I mean that's all I need to know. I'm Could gonna happen. go and watch it now. Be careful. It's mice, they're schemers. Mm. So you're yeah, just not I've... gonna name ten mice, or are we just gonna breeze past that? Do you that's want me to name ten ten, ten mice? Yeah, don't lie to name me this time. Last time you challenge. lied to me about yeah. Oh you're into mice? Name ten. Name your ten favorite. Ten mice. Ten Do you okay, I can do this. Um C fifty seven black six is the most popular. Bald oh, C's totally. close yep. second. Um, BTBRs, uh, Muck 2, um... Technically correct. <laughs> Can't scan it. Got a, something for, some help from the chat here. Um, Mickey. Hey, that's a rat. That doesn't count. Yeah, that's fair. Um... What about Stuart? Yeah, um, rats are the sharks of Stuart mice. Little? Get out of here. Yeah. Stuart, Stuart Little, yes. Yeah. Um, he's a mouse. Yeah. Yeah, he was a mouse. Um... Ratatouille, of course, famous mouse. <laughs> Famously, yeah. What was that mouse from um, the Great Mouse Detective? The Great no. Mouse Detective. Nobody watched that. It was like a mouse that was just like Sherlock Holmes, and he was solving a crime. No, I was on that Red Wall shit. You guys were in the Red Wall where the mice are all medieval. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's what I. That's you got some mice in there. Yep. Great yeah, Mouse absolutely. Detective. Yeah, what was the other one? What was the other one that was about mice? It was like... Basil, the great mouse detective. His name's Basil? Yep. Yeah, he was very British. He smoked a pipe. Um, And... Oh, God, what was that mouse from? Oh, no, he was a rat, too. I was going to say from Charlotte's Web. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Yeah, that's ten. How many are you at? Like four? Oh, shit, okay. I think that was uh, 11. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Pinky in the brain, that's two mice. Bible from American oh. ta- Tale? And you, of yeah. course, have the three blind mice. Did you say those guys? I didn't. Oh, my uh, goodness. I consider myself a mouse expert, but I'm ruining myself. Although I can do a pretty good, like, pinky. We can make you go to 20 if you want. So. Yeah. I think it's only fair. I'm, I'm, I'm good. Can I make All up right. for it? What? With what? Someone, someone asked me, are you pondering what I'm pondering, Pinky? Oh, oh, oh me? Uh, yeah, you, yeah you're guess. This is your job. We forgot to tell uh, you. That. Are you pondering what I'm pondering, Pinky? I think so, Brian. But why don't snowmobiles melt in the summer? 
<laughs> but I was I didn't realize I was supposed to be doing brains, so I I don't know how oh. to do. He's got a really mess. That's a really good Pinky impression, though. Thank you. Did yeah, you do the voice of Pinky? I did actually. Yeah, that was my career before I worked in the lab. That's why they hired me. Um, do you guys? This, I know this is unrelated, but you guys want to? I finally looked it up. Do you want to know how many different species of fish that are we aware of? You had to guess yes. like a number. Ooh, well, it's more than guess. ten. We know that. It's at least ten. I'll give you that. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say 3,476. Species of fish? Species of fish. You said we... 3,000. We're in the 3,000 3, range. 3,476. 3, oh, okay. I guess I won't guess. No, that's not the real answer. That was your guess. Oh, okay. That is not the real answer. Sorry. That was confusing. Uh, all Please. right. And then, now I, I'm being forced to include sharks, but not dolphins, right? Oh, um, yeah. Yes. This I is assume this is the old definition. Not dolphins. Right. Uh, I'm going to go with. Like, were you implying hers was close, or were you just restating her? I am trying to project no feelings whatsoever. No feelings whatsoever. That, I'm going to say 12,862. 12,862. Well, you're both freaking wrong, okay? We're both way it's, low. It's, it's uh, like 34,000. Yeah. Oh, good lord. Right. Fishbase has 34. Fishbase is like a great site if you like... Um, if you like Wikipedia, but you're like, what if this was only about fish and had mm. like the aesthetics of like a 90s GeoCities webpage? I love, unironically love fish base. A lot of really beautiful information on fish in there. Um, however, they have 34,800, I believe. So I was off by a magnitude of 10. Yeah, which tens. is, I mean, in terms of like a log scale, it's actually pretty close. That sounds like the thing that I bought. You know, those like big billy fish you know take me to the river and sing on yeah and uh but like the sound is really tinny but if you bought their little peripheral and plug in a little woofer to it you'd have some fish bass so i guess i my i did have a qualm here you did say we were using a log scale but i thought that we were using fish scales oh my god <laughs> so <laughs> the first one you hit me with the first one burst the blood vessels by my eyes <laughs> I was putting that together at the same time, like a like a really stupid detective. I was like fish peripheral, base like Billy Bass. And yeah. You got it. Well, Good when you're God. thinking of fish peripheral, you start thinking of is it halibut that have their eyes just like that's right on the sides? Yeah, they got that fish, yeah, they got that fish peripheral vision, right? <laughs> have you? Do you know how big those fish can get? Like, do you have like a sense in your head of how big a halibut is? Uh, I want to say like a large dog because you're asking. Dude. Otherwise, you, I would have. Do you have access to like Google it with you? Are you able to? Search no, I don't things? have an internet connection. You know? <laughs> My grandpa goes deep sea, deep sea fishing. I I know the general scope of it. A little bit. Big size. as hell. If you just look at yeah. like big, like as tall as a, big, as a person. I mean, some of these I'm seeing are just small dog size, but they oh yeah, this get, like, dude is this size. dude is like hugging a, uh, a a terror beyond my imagination. Yeah, I believe they can live like 15, 20 years. Greenland halibut can I think would be like seventy. Oh, right. this thing is so. Is it possible you'll get killed by a halibut? Uh, if you oh no, a halibut. Okay, max age like fifteen. That's not that bad. I'm gonna. Um, you could get killed by a halibut. I think they're really. I bet they would be really strong in like a fight. If you like put it up next to your head and they just slapped you. Um. Really muscly fish like a tuna, like a full big ass tuna. I bet they could kill you if they whapped you with the tail. I don't know how that would happen. Muscly but... fish. Are they like no one of the muscular fish? If you froze it and then swung fish? it like a sword. Yes. Very buff fish. Tuna are like the sports cars of the ocean. They're like built all around sustained speed and they're like torpedo shaped. And they have like this fucked up really weird like blood system that cool. Oh, that's a big, that's a big halibut. Wow, that's a big halibut. It sure is. Um, wait, Nicole, what was your question? Didn't you ask me something? Um, this is I great. don't it remember, but we do have a guest question here. here. I don't know why I'm leaning like I'm going to lean out of the doesn't matter. If you lean farther, it will work. I bet this thing could kill you. Oh, shit. Oh, my <laughs> God. Is that what I meant to do? <laughs> <laughs> oh, they were like the same was, color and pigmentation. That's yeah. <laughs> so eerie. It's like, oh, it's another another large uh, dead Greenland halibut. Oh, no. Another real catch. Yeah. That's, yeah. Mm -hmm. Big okay, fish. So we do have one more question from the chat. Please. Has anyone been killed by a parrotfish? I don't think so. Um, do you do y'all know what a parrotfish is and looks like? Um, no. 
Does it look very like a parrot? Again. Very, very <clears throat> goofy looking fish. They have like a little, God, they're so funny looking. Jesus. Beautifully colored fish, usually in coral reefs, and they chomp up corals to consume the algaes and um, other biological stuff inside and like shit out the coral dust or the chalk. Oh, essentially. Jesus. But they have big chompers like theirs and that they grind up. I and mean, it looks like they have kind of like a beak. Oh, okay, I um, think I have seen them. I, we have a parrotfish enthusiast in the chat. Excellent. Parrotfish time, parrotfish time. If you put, I bet if you put your finger in their mouth, they could bite you pretty hard. I don't know if I could like lop it off, but I think that would hurt. So if and you if were you going like them. trying to like, uh, what is it? The catfishing where you had to get them with your noodling tick tickling. Yeah. Like if you were going for one of those and there happened to be a parrotfish, somebody planted there as a prank, you might lose your finger. I don't know. Yeah. I, the catfish will mess your, well, catfish are catfish and parrotfish are not going to be in the same, uh, you know, space. No, I yeah, meant if someone put it there like as, a, oh, like as a prank. Yeah, yeah, that's possible. That's very possible. You take your dang arm clean off. I um, said I think catfish you, you only find on Tinder. That's <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. This one is um, great. This one, I, if, I mean, our the, background should be that if we're being honest. It's pretty, isn't it? If they're there for chomping coral, they should probably be able to chomp someone's finger off, right? That's what I'm thinking, right? Is like a stick a baby carrot in that. Yeah, I bet it, it goes, you know. See, you these know are the mean. kind of experiments we should be funding. Yes. Oh, I'm sure someone is, someone at uh, Department of Defense is working on it right now. <laughs> oh, yeah. In your area, I'm saying we, the Canadian uh, oh, government, right. should I be. Oh, right. you guys are Canadian. Yeah, because we so need sorry. to be, we need to be, uh, like, keeping up with you guys in terms of, like, the, the fish arms race. That's right. Yeah. I mean, fish some of my favorite arms. fish are fish Canadian. Fish don't have arms, Kelly. Yeah. There's, there's um, a great joke about salmon arm there if I hadn't made it earlier, but, you know. <laughs> Um, what are your what are your favorite Canadian fish? My favorite yeah, name Canadian, ten Canadian fish. fish. <laughs> what is a Canadian fish? What do they have off the coast of like Nova Scotia? What's the common? Well, fish they cache? used to have cod, <laughs> right? Not so and much they, anymore. That crashed in like the eighties, right? Uh, I think. Well, Scotia. yeah, you know, only because the government told them to stop fishing. There's presumably right. billions in there, but it's those dang Brook you know, Brown those dang bureaucrats trout. in Ottawa telling them they can't drive the fish yeah. extinct. We can't tell if this is a shit post or not. The maple trout comment. This is a maple trout. It might be like a name of a. If nothing else, maple trout is a good shibboleth. If someone is, you know, like pretending to be Canadian, and you're like, "Oh yeah, well, what's that? What's that fish that Josie made up?" And they'll be like, "Maple trout," and then you know, then you put them in your little Canadian gulag. Maple trout. Nanaimo is... base is actually then one of the names of one of my favorite DJs. Famous Canadian DJ Nanaimo base. Nanaimo base. That's a what is a Nanaimo bass? I want to I want to circle back and instead of saying Canadian gulag, I just want to say igloo igloo log. That's pretty good. Igloo. Sorry, I'm really looking at all your beautiful Canadian fish here, and you you've got a lot to offer here in, on the, off the coast of Canada. Gorgeous. Well, fish. You know we don't like to brag, but <laughs> you got some you got some chain pickerel, Atlantic we... salmon. We here Rainbow in Alberta trout. don't like to brag about our oceanic fish, but... Yeah, it's, you've got beautiful... Uh, you know, and also some of my favorite TV shows film in Canada, which is cool. Ooh, like so, what? You got your Twin Peaks, right? It's great. Uh, you got X-Files, I think. Did uh, X-Files film in Canada? I thought they filmed yeah. either in uh, Pacific Northwest or like right over the border. I think X-Files was filming in Vancouver before it was cool, but I don't know. That sounds correct for me. Twilight? And those are pretty much the only two shows I watch. Oh, Twilight. Yes, Twilight, of course. Mm -hmm. oh, great movies, great films. <laughs> no Just... no notes. What was the... <laughs> you asked me an original question about a fish. <laughs> with... Well, my favorite Canadian fish, of course. I don't know. You, you really do have quite a few uh, rich diversity. Uh, yeah. The Atlantic. Don't Oops. worry. We're working on doing things about that diversity. Yeah, so you Globally. just cut that right out. Yeah. yeah. Just nip that in the bud. So we we passed like two or three excellent segues for the uh, what I guess you could call our book club section. Book club. I always wanted to be in book Ooh, club. Well, I'm yeah, sorry, I'm before because you said a really great phrase, which was making intercourse, and like, boy, is that the sexiest way to frame it? Is that not what you guys? Is that not what you guys call it up there? Uh, I mean, depends who you're speaking to. You know, when you're talking to your grandma, you're supposed to say, "Oh, yes, yeah, sorry, I couldn't come to the phone, grandma. I was making intercourse," but like. Yeah. You go up to someone at the bar, like, hey, baby, you want to make intercourse? Then that is something know. like Hank Hill would say, probably. You, that's right. Like, if you're hot enough, anything works, but, you know. 
before this descends into total debauchery, I wanted to say, speaking of book clubs, um, oh, I saw your blog post about writing Sweetgrass, and I have been working on reading it for the last, like, six to 18 months. And I was That's like, great. hey, I know that book. Oh, you had already been working on reading it. Oh, yeah. I, I relate to that. I can never, I, like, start a book, and it takes me, like, nine months to actually <laughs> yeah. finish it appreciately. Great book, well, though, for real. Yeah, well, this one especially, because it's, like, little, like, segments and, like, mini essays. Mm-hmm. It's, like, I can read one and then put it away Absolutely. and read, like, something else. And then, but, yeah, really, really good. She's yeah, uh, huge recommend. Uh, I listened to the audiobook, which made it. I was also playing Stardew Valley and in a tent, so I like was able to just kind of mainline the whole book. It was very, very great experience. Made up for uh, almost getting food poisoning at the A and W burger restaurant on the way out. Well, you, you said you're not. You said the words. I forgot to tell you not to say those words because now the entire remainder of the stream is going to be spent talking about Stardew Valley. Who I did you marry? Food poisoning. I thought you guys were like we love. Food poisoning here. No, did you see the way she lit up when you said Stardew Valley? Chat. I'm a, I'm amazed she remained like upright. It's a great game. I've tried it on like three platforms now, and I managed to uh, get somewhat far in this little tablet one. Still not sure who to romance yet, but I'm um, trying to focus on myself time and kind of build up my uh, wine making business in the, in the game. Yeah, yeah, Fair. like you know, it's. It, you you really got to focus on your, yourself and just kind of quiet it down, and you'll come to realize the only correct answer is Leah, and then your your life is fine. Oh, you know? kidding. Okay, I thought you were gonna make fun of me, but I feel like she's the only she's the only one for me besides uh. God, there's so many great characters in that game. Yeah, I mean, you on romance the... the mayor. Can you like fall in love with the mayor? I assume not. I mean, in your in your head, you can. In my fan fiction, you can. Sure. Didn't we like look up a bunch of like patches that people had made for the game where you can like hook no. up with any character? Oh, that's cool. But it did, yeah. I thought you were going to say like the Stardew Valley sex scene patches, adult version Stardew Valley. <laughs> Probably that's, that also. They also sure did the exists. ones where you make your uh, like the characters are all replaced with like a- like anime hunks and stuff. What and, the f- yeah. I mean, sure. You know? Uh but yeah, I, I also should add the caveat that like Leah's also is the obvious. Is it Leah or Leah? I don't ever know what. This I don't is. know. They never tell you. Right. So that's the obvious choice. But at the same time, uh, like fuck off. She's mine. You can't have her. So sure. I, I like already Shane. married her. So suck it. Yeah. Yeah. That's so, fair. uh, I guess that's also a good segue. <laughs> oh, the other one was your really excellent accent. Nine. No, 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 the Nichols. No, you're oh, just, like, just mine dog is, shit. I have like the most, <laughs> like, the most newscaster, like boring ass accent. Yeah, but you're saying trout. Anyway, uh, so game. yeah, as we do have, uh, we've had a run of some pretty intense erotica reading, as evidenced by our ever growing pile. Is that what that is over there? Is it's mostly ero- Yeah. So we sorry. This is our pile of erotica and weird pseudoscience quackery. Okay, kind I was of gonna old. say, did he get into erotica? Because that's absolutely cursed that is hellish well, maybe but I'm, find I'm hearing that he's still just on on his like pseudoscience bullshit he he like just got out of jail i think so maybe expect <laughs> new things in the mind from him yeah no seriously <laughs> i didn't know that that's funny I we, did, we read from this book on our on our side stream that we do when we don't have a guest jesus so. um but Please i decided continue, no, sorry i got sidetracked no it's fine sidetracked about interrupting <laughs> is like the main thing we do here so great <laughs> Or it's the main thing I do to Nicole, so and the guests. I do it to Nicole and the guests equally. So I think that's fair. I try to also interrupt Kelly to be fair, but he just doesn't stop talking. He just talks right over me. So it's not not so much of an interruption as just like we're a massive jumbled confusion for our guests. Um That's right. It's called that's, winning. It's how I think. It's how I think. It's the same as it's going on here. But we did take some time off from the show uh for the royal morning period, of course, which of you course. know we're still observing and we're kind of in the, I guess you would call it the re- refractory period of the royal morning period, oh, where like no. we finished morning, but we can't quite start anything for a few little bit. And uh, so instead of getting into our usual stock of just extremely upsetting shit, I ah uh, oh, the slug dick, yeah, I don't know, we've, you know, we've we've slug we've trodden dick. that snail trail already. And what I thought would be nice and wholesome would be to try and actively look for a specific type of not even necessarily erotic fiction this time just fan fiction so i went online looking for fan fiction uh and i was trying to use uh search terms like royal family fan fiction 
Queen Elizabeth fan fiction. And uh, I don't know. What do you what kind of stuff do you guys think I found? I think that's the first real question here. Did you find Queen Elizabeth fan fiction? Because I totally have a hat for this. Please. You, uh, I th- if you have a Queen Elizabeth fan fiction hat, I think you should go get it right now. And I'll just stop. So how time. would there be a hat for this? What kind of hat would that be? We're about to find out. This is the beauty of. See, this is this is the My kind God. of thing. This is part of our pitch to you. You just can't do this on a podcast. I'm I always considered that. I'm always so frustrated listening to podcasts and I'm like, what hat are they wearing? No oh, one absolutely. will tell me. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm just mentally preparing. I, I realized, of course, people made this. Like, of course, people made I never considered that people might have. This is amazing. Amazing hat. No. I'm not sure how the headphones are going to. Yeah, I ran into that problem here. last week. Uh, well, let's just call it last week, last time. They should and, just make uh, a hat that has the headphones with it. Well, yeah. Oh, there you go. Uh, okay. Okay. There's no way people made this, though, right? So, okay, I, I will say did. this. I know they did. Well, like our previous distinction we made between romance and erotica, there's a difference between, like, fanfic and erotic fanfic. So, uh... I thought it would be maybe even appropriate this time to just because it's, you know, the morning period to do some less erotic fanfic. Because there is a like, I think this might be unsurprising, but there is a lot of just general fan fiction of Royals. It, <sighs> there's I had to sort through so many entries that were just like. Prince uh, William and uh, Kate, the one? Yeah. Just like having a good time. There was one about them having a good time in Canada and they like go to an unnamed concert, which in my head is definitely a Rush concert. And yeah, it's like, it's all very just, it's, it's everything you would expect from the kind of people online talking about how sad they are. Uh, But before we get into what I did, well, I mean, I have a few options. I don't know. I'll read you the ones I thought we shouldn't do. So we have one where uh, I thought it would be kind of really like on brand for us for the role playing we do. But it was actually just very long and boring where like a bunch of kids are playing D&D and or do they go LARPing and then they meet Princess Diana and then like they go save the royal family with her in real life. I don't know. It was very boring. I don't think it's worth reading. And, uh, oh, God, this screen is so far away. I'm just, like, I'm I'm realizing I was a fool to not even have considered this, but now that I'm aware of the concept of people doing fanfic for, like, the Royals, it is open to my mind to, like, how much horrible... Okay. It's like a particle beam hitting my brain right now of... Yeah. Well, like, again, I think you'll feel better if I tell you about some of the stuff that we're not reading. Uh, Like, this person... So, do you know what shipping is? Oh, yeah. It, well, okay. Let me see if I, I feel like I know what shipping is. It's when there's two characters, let's say in like The Simpsons, and you, you want them to, to get together in the end. And there's a fan base. You're like, oh, we ship Homer and uh, Lenny or whatever. And right. you're hoping that they will one day have, have a romance uh, arc in the show. Is that right? Mm hmm. Nice. No, you nailed it. Uh, it. That was so good. I won't even make a joke about like how no shipping is actually how you get goods from place to place. We'll just keep going. Oh. So. <laughs> This person shipped uh, Princess... Wait. If you had to ship two members of the like extended royal family, who would they be? Like, by, like freight shipping? Family. Now I'm confused. <laughs> yeah. Now I'm messed up. Like, <laughs> either, either, one, either I guess you answer both questions. Who would you ship far away and who would you ship with each other? Oh, God. Prince Andrew, please far away. Which... Oh, my God. I'm going to have to Google which one is which. Prince Andrew is like the really... He's the Epstein one. Okay. Yeah. That's Thankfully, I found true. nothing <laughs> on him. I don't think he's that popular, honestly. Thank, th- I f- should thank Christ that that is not okay. Right. But like, who could who could I ship? What's that possibilities here? So I, I feel like are you guys as Canadians exposed to like the same level of, of royal family bullshit as I mean even in America it's like on the news and shit. But oh, yeah. do you have to hear about this shit all the time? So are you like oh, really yeah. familiar with the with the canon? If yeah, so yeah, because so, the thing is, we are part. Sorry, no, I'm gonna stop talking over Nicole. I was gonna say, yeah, we are still technically part of the Commonwealth, and so not only do we have to hear about it on the news and shit, but we also have to hear all of our grandparents and parents uh, complain a bit about it. So yeah, awesome. I uh, 
and we Absolutely. have to name shit after them every time they visit. That's awesome. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, I uh, had a conversation with my grandma the other day where she told me that she thinks that Meghan Merkel is um, conspiring to destroy the monarchy. So it's fucking neat. Okay. <laughs> huh. Yeah, so I, I feel like you guys are aware of more of the potential character pool that we can form ships from, but I'm aware of the, their corgis. Can I ship corgis together? Yeah. <laughs> I'm aware of uh, Meghan Markle. Don't know who her husband is, but they're uh, already together, so you Harry. can't ship those people. Yeah, you're not close to guessing. Do you have any guesses, Nicole? Um, you know what? I'm honestly not that familiar with the extended royal family either. Yeah, but I'm gonna got? say. Okay. Well, they were shipping Diana and Prince Philip. So. Oh. Wait, well, which one is Prince Philip? Prince Please Philip is me. the Queen's dead husband. <laughs> Prince Philip is the halibut looking motherfucker. No. no. <laughs> he's, okay, so he's the one that. I mean, no. to be fair, they have a lot no. of common. There you go. No, this is why no, we have this no, on here. No, 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 no. Yeah. No. So, that, okay, that was the second worst Prince Philip fanfic I found. <laughs> I yeah. don't know if I want to ask what the first one was. Oh, I, I mean, I'm still going to tell you, but uh, <laughs> yeah, Just so to, yeah, like and in fairness, yeah, because they are both like, I don't know, more the married in variety. They are like it's sort of that like that that stepmom porn exception where it's like, well, they're not related. But uh, yeah, uh, no, the most upsetting one was this specific blogger who had like a particular Prince Philip fetish and Oof. wrote this extraordinarily graphic uh piece like no a, a whole bunch of pieces on it was like self insert royal family erotica where he was sucking off prince philip and, no no yeah, no it's... this can't exist this can't exist and i'm refusing <laughs> to believe was, that it exists because this was still like you know how people write their fanfic for like existing sure. properties so this was fanfic for the crown the tv show no yeah and the person took great pains to say okay. like okay in this ship you are not picturing handsome actor matt smith as Prince Philip, you are picturing real life Prince no, Philip. No, they made clear of that part. They had to specify that part. They meant young Prince Philip, but it's much funnier if I just put up this picture. Was young Prince over Philip hot? Over and over. Uh, you can look it up and decide for yourself. We should keep moving this discussion. We haven't even gotten to our erotica yet. You just drop a bomb like that on somebody and just think you can just walk away. From you. The thing is, sometimes, you know, our the people on this show, guests, hosts, GMs, mm -hmm. get upset about the stuff we read on it, but you can't even imagine the stuff I read just trying oh, to find I'm sure stuff you, for it. That's, I can't ever be mad because I know that you've forced yourself to endure any t 10 times as bad. This See, this one is kind of wholesome. This was like um, Queen Elizabeth is just really sad because Prince Philip got uh, captured by terrorists and Whoa. then makes it back and they talk about how they missed each other. But yeah, it's oh, quite that's kind of nice. Uh yeah okay so that that's most of it there's uh there's a couple there's two things from one author here and I thought because honestly I found really nothing for Queen Elizabeth like I I think I found one extremely ironic one like they knew what they were doing I'm like that's not fun they're just they're just doing bits they're doing a goof I need something sincere and there was yeah there's people are not sincerely horny for the Queen but. Uh, and this is appropriate because she is gone. We do have to start making our King Charles content. So uh, I found something called camillafanfiction.tumblr.com. Oh, oh, no. Tumblr, I see. It's, I know Tumblr is notorious for fanfiction, right? It was never a Tumblr. Yeah, t Tumblr, well, like, MySpace. there's all these... I, I'm just kind of learning it, um, but sure. I... There was like 10 different websites that were like, okay, this is where people post their fanfics. It doesn't feel like it has like one place. Gotcha. So, yeah, the, but this, like Tumblr, I think has a, uh, a long history of like blogs that are obsessed with like one person and just posting a picture of them every day. Mm -hmm. So this is that for Camilla, who is, you all know by heart is, uh, the, I think it was Charles's girlfriend and then they broke up and then he married Diana and then he like cheated on her with Camilla and now they're now she's gotcha. the queen consort, I consort. think is the term. I'm just upset that I know this to be honest. Well, I'm just on the Wikipedia page repeating 
the words after you to make it seem like I knew this. Sure. I yeah. Yeah. heard all this yeah. from my mother, who was furious about it. Yeah. So, huh. so she cannot yeah. stand Camilla because you know everyone knows like the other woman is the real villain in every infidelity situation. Oh, I see. I see. I see. I see the dynamic. So yeah, there's. I think this is a picture of her from the funeral. Um, so again, this blog is not entirely about fan fiction. It's mostly just about like simping for royalty. Whoa. So the this picture here was captioned, "So much beauty, even in her pain." Okay. Okay. So you know, good for her. We're uh, okay. we're all about uh, you know older women are sexy too. Get with it. It's twenty twenty two. So what I was, because last time what we tried to do was get our guests to do the bulk of the reading, uh, you know, because I think guests should, you know, be heavily involved. Sure. And that kind of went funny because there was only a li like all of the real juicy stuff was in the, the dialogue, which we did. But oh, this gotcha. thing is a lot more exposition heavy. So um, here's like a little mild. So I, I have two excerpts uh one i called uh i think like mild camilla fanfic and then the one that was severe camilla fanfic. this is this is the same fanfic that has been produced this is the same author two different same posts. author two different posts wow so i was thinking that i could voice charles and nicole could voice camilla and you can just narrate in whatever accent you want got it so if you go back to the the discord uh, sub thread we have there. Of this. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see if I can make this uh, bigger. Should I try to do like a British guy? You think, or what do you what do you think the vibe is for? I think you yeah, should do Christ. what you want to do, uh, because you're the guest and we respect our guests. Gotcha. Okay, I'm ready. All right. Did you see where I put it? It is off. Uh, yes. Yeah, I found it. I'm also ready. I wish I had a good hat. Wait, hold oh, on. I have a hat for this. One sec. I am choosing to use this hat that I'm already wearing. I feel like that's a narrator's hat, so. Yeah, that's so. You're having trouble with this hat as well. It's, yeah. See, this is the problem with having giant headphones is I can't wear the amount of costumes that I generally find appropriate. Oh, that's it. Wow, look at that hat. Yeah. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna try and do like I've been playing a lot of Bloodborne, so I think I can do like a an old British guy sort of deal. Just um uh, um. Okay, I'm ready. Are you ready? Oh, I'm I'm born ready. Okay. Carefully, Charles placed a light, proud kiss on his wife's temple. Camilla startled, but smiled in her sleep. Good morning, beautiful. He whispered <laughs> quietly, smiling at his queen. Good morning. She murmured, half asleep. Time to get up already. Charles couldn't help but smile. How on earth could one human being be so adorable? <laughs> Almost. He, rep he replied, stroking her tousled hair out of her face. Huddle time? Camilla asked innocently, a bit more awake now, and moved her body towards her husband. She savoured those few private moments between them now more than ever. Cuddle time? <laughs> Charles, Charles agreed with a soft yet throaty chuckle, wrapped his arms around his wife, making her feel safe. Will you? Oh, no. Oh, sorry, it's me. Will you be all right? Camilla heard her husband's gentle voice sounding from far away, though he was sitting right next to her. She had, lo <laughs> she had been lost in her thoughts again, thinking about the day that lay before them. You haven't eaten anything, darling, Charles remarked thoughtfully, a hint of worry in his tone. Usually Camilla wasn't one to skip breakfast or any meal that mattered, but she had a hard time eating the past few days. Cuddling with her husband had been good, so very good. It had given her comfort and strength, but she also felt like crying was the only reasonable thing to do, despite running away, maybe, when she thought of today's schedule, especially about those two bloody flights. She managed a crooked smile nonetheless and nodded. Nothing will stop me from having my morning sandwich. <laughs> she took a... She took an extra hearty bite from her Nutella sandwich, and Charles chuckled, crinkling his nose. What? Oh, sorry, no, it's you. <laughs> what? She replied, laughing, her eyes lighting up. That no, was I really that's, powerful. That's, that was quite yeah. awesome. 
honestly, I just I really like the idea of Charles just going cut out of time. That <laughs> I chose to ignore that part. I was that is, I was editing that for the writer, just saying no, that didn't happen. Cuddle time. Oh, fair. Well, Cuddle I mean, time. maybe. Cuddle uh, time. All right. Let's see if what, this. Could you do? What is a soft yet throaty chuckle? Could you give me one of those? I don't know. Remember if you did one. Yeah, I believe that was Camilla. Well, it was me. Was it? No, I think no, it was, it was you. It was no, Charles. Charles agreed with the soft yet throaty chuckle. Charles, when you say cuddle Charles, time. darling, let me hear your throaty <laughs> chuckle. Okay. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> that's pretty. <laughs> oh, I hated that. Thank you. I thought that was pretty good. Yeah, proud of that. So Neat. here's a here's a text file from the severe. Or a, can you just hit expand? Oh, this mm. one's a download. I love that. This is a download. It's I think work. if you download the whole <laughs> thing, it will work. Yeah, just download the whole thing. Just. <laughs> that always ends. Well, it was it was too long of a passage to screen cap. Oh, I got you. I got you. So, so yeah, I think that one we just file and then... Ugh, yeah, that's so right. Oh, Jesus, this is so this is poorly I... formatted. Yeah, I am putting this in some sort of. I mean, I can just give you the link or... and tell you where to start from. Oh no, that's okay. I'm going to. Here's my plan. Here's my plan. Oh, I got it. See what you do is you paste it in a Microsoft Word document, and it even breaks it up for you. Yeah, that was sort of my plan. Wow. I'm gonna say, just wandering my eyes over it, saw some words that I am not looking forward to reading. Yeah. Yep. Let's just okay. copy that again because I still have it highlighted. Listen, I, I want you to know that I that if you look at the highlighting, no, you can't because it's still just on my computer. But I stopped short of the part where they used the phrase "Camilla's wetness." Oh, we don't Christ, get to that, dude. People cannot have made this. This can't be real. This has to be real though. But people made this. <laughs> I. I, I honestly just felt like my sanity was slipping away as I tried to consider whether. Why? It's a wonderful question. And I think we wonder this every time we read this stuff and wow. we never come up with why. All right. So, yeah, we, wow. there's like, I don't know. It's like two pages. So we can, we'll, we'll read until it becomes not funny. I don't know. Okay. I'm ready. Am I still the narrator? Or what's the? Yeah, I'm not ready. I need another beer for this. Uh, name your ten favorite things about Camilla. Googling ten favorite things. Um. To Buzzfeed top ten Camilla facts. I would say my favorite, probably my top first favorite thing about Camilla is the way that she bites into her Nutella sandwiches. It's like just so oh, cute, you what know. What was that about? Why like so that... heartily. I don't really like Nutella as a matter of principle. Also, so like that's is not it even the palm oil or is it the flavor? Wow, you got through all ten already. I'm impressed. Mm -hmm. Just on the, she's the oldest of three children. Mm -hmm. She was married to Prince Andrew from 1973 to 1995. Oh no. Well, I mean, at least she divorced him, I guess. Camilla loves dogs and has two Jack Russell Terriers named Beth and Bluebell. Mm. She's an avid fan of the outdoors and loves gardening. Your British accent, by the way, was... So, what'd you think? Give me an honest... Give me like it a really It really honest... lent a lot of gravitas to this reading. Wow. That's exactly It would have been very... It would have just been silly and gross without that wonderful... Wonderful reading. I was going to say you could have na narrated a nature documentary, but I mean, you guess you oh kind God, of are. That's, that's like the, the nicest thing anyone's ever said. Except then well, I do my Midwestern voice and everyone's like, ugh. You're, you're <laughs> about to, uh, I mean, you could read this in like a thick Wisconsin or something, but. <laughs> oh, hey thick there. Wisconsin? Oh, Camilla. That's, I think I've watched that movie. Yeah. Disgusting. Somebody did some, I think they were reading, is it a product? Or maybe, I think they were just like doing dirty talk in like a thick. Wisconsinite accent, and they were like, "Oh yeah, I want you to touch me down there." And it was really good, Such powerful stuff. But it yeah. is a kind of a nature documentary you're about to narrate because uh, Charles and Camilla are going to do it, like they do in the Discovery Channel. I cannot believe. So. Just to be clear, somebody, I don't want to like shame people, I suppose, but like some creative energy was put to this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just I want to people say, say that, that about this show all the time. So okay. I really can't like you know, glass <laughs> houses here. 
Let me try. Let me try for a British accent. Okay. Camilla couldn't help it. <laughs> she <laughs> moaned. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. I'm gonna. I, the only one I can do is like the creepy Christopher Hitchens. No, the one you were doing was good. I think that accent okay. you just tried to do is what uh, is what. Oh, Jimmy did for Christmas, Camilla, yeah. sir. Camilla could. Uh, okay. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Three, two, one. Oh, um, good lord. No. Camilla couldn't help it. She moaned and inhaled sharply. Charles knew exactly where and how to touch her. Ugh. All right, all right. She breathed, but Charles did not allow her to calm down. His fingertips slipped under the thin satin of a vin vinous, vinous nightie. Charles could see her nipples began to show more and more. With ease, he traced the small circles along the inner sides of her thighs and pushed the hemline up. Charles knew she... <laughs> Lord Nickers beneath the nighty, the sight of her exposed... <laughs> 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 Just take a little <laughs> run of that sentence, it's fine. I can't. Framed by the... Okay, I don't even know where... Okay. However, Camille tried to stay strong. Don't you want breakfast? She asked. You'll be hungry during your, your engagements otherwise. It really sounds like she's trying to, like, not sleep with him right now. Don't you want breakfast? I, I, I've noticed you use that pause to kind of skip over the phrase, the brown curls down there, but that's oh, fair. Oh, did it's I miss that? Did I... <laughs> I don't know. Let's, we got we to gotta play our game here, so let's just try <laughs> to get through this. Oh, I am very hungry. Charles chuckled and bent down to Camilla's woman who had placed a kiss right in the middle of it. Camilla, Camilla winced in pleasure. With her hands, she pushed Charles away, or tried it, after all. Ve vehemently, Charles placed another kiss on exactly the same spot. I don't she think this another... person knows what wincing is. I, I love to be kissed vehemently. Famously, uh, uh, an emotion associated with, or a, a verb associated with pleasure is wincing. Mm -hmm. Grimacing. You know. uh, she took another attempt to push her husband away, but obviously... She had to speak to make it clear, which wasn't all that easy with Charles caressing her there. That was... what? Okay. Stop, please. She begged Good him Lord, and pushed hey. him away. But I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, you can do this. We're, we're like halfway done. Charles, Charles looked at it with a bright blue poppy eyes and you... And you said you had made breakfast for me. He paused. And that is certainly the most delicious thing in the world. Camilla's lips formed a small smile, but she moved away from him anyway. I thought it was your birthday, not mine. And despite, that won't sate you. She kissed him on the lips. First comes work, then pleasure. She laughed <laughs> cheekily. I have always preferred pleasure over work, and even more so on my birthday. Charles objected and kissed her back, his hands on her shoulders, pushing aside the thin straps of her nighty and gliding his fingers along the outer lines of her collar. Well, that's new to me. <laughs> she retorted, but knew she probably wouldn't be able to refuse giving that. So I accidentally slipped into, like, pirate. <laughs> Tell her what he wanted, especially on his birthday, and even more, it was something she enjoyed a lot, too. Almost shy, her hands wandered down to Charles Small of the back and pushed up the blue cotton shirt to his shoulders and pulled it over his head. As usual, her fingers <laughs> burnt like fire on Charles' skin. His soft kisses on his neck made it impossible to catch even a single clear thought, and her kisses on his chest and his stomach made him forget <laughs> everything around. With a wink of an eye, Charles had forgotten what he'd been hungry for. Having his eyes closed, he tussled through Camilla's hair. Always amazed by the softness. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> kiss after kiss landed on Charles Abra. <laughs> Sorry, we just, I, people hadn't had a chance to picture oh, Charles no. yet. So picture Charles like this as you're imagining kiss under kiss landing, as, kiss <sighs> after kiss landing on his upper body. Oh, this, no. This is doing something for someone, which I respect, but yeah. it is so alien mm -hmm. to me. What is it profoundly? Sorry. Uh, I don't we're know. we're close yes. to the best part. Let's just push through it. Okay. Uh, kiss after kiss. I uh, From his cheeks, she kissed her way to ear to ear and kissed him on his left ear lobe. 
I love you, my darling, she purred, and Charles opened his eyes again to look at her. Her gaze shivered through his body. <laughs> she found him beautiful and attractive. The 66 hadn't changed anything. Years. Charles had known it, of course, but he was a fan of reassurance, always had been. My precious. Charles whispered and scratched the back of her head, beaming with bliss. <laughs> I do love you so. Carefully, he pushed her down for him to kiss deeper and more passionate than before. He sucked on her lower lips in permissive tongue entrance. Oh, <laughs> she Sorry, her lower lips? Invited Charles' tongue for romantic tango. And now Charles' hands began to roam over Camilla's back down to her bottom, began to knead her butt cheeks before he pushed her knife <laughs> slipping into the reacted <laughs> him still forever. He loved every inch, every gram, every scar, every liver spot and every wrinkle. Carefully but with greed he turned on her back and resist couldn't resist grabbing her boobs. You can't say boobs in <laughs> Right, it's such this. a tonal shift. It That's, just completely you changed cannot the put there. boobs there. This, I feel like the quality of the actual writing really decreases as it gets more like salacious. That's usually true, um, yeah. Heavily began to massage them first softly, then with more pressure nearer the area he <laughs> came to the areola. With caution, he rubbed her sensitive nipples between his... can't say ni nipples. Between nipples. his thumb and index finger, pulling them gently. As you do. parted her mm. legs between them to suck on her nipples. Every moment was a present to Charles, no matter what present she'd give him. A love, nearness, a perfect body, where everything Charles wished for. Now I sound like a British-speaking lady. No, that was good. You were getting into John Lennon there. He could hey, hey man, you could spend ages nibbling at her nipples <laughs> <laughs> and parts of her body and you wanted to taste, so he further down to her stomach, then to her legs and feet, finally found the place where his mana came from. Greedy, he nudged her nevers, part <laughs> part of them with his tongue, eager to get everything from the sweet juice she offered. That was horrible, thank you. <laughs> don't say wow. thank you, you don't have to do that. Wow. Just know that the next two paragraphs just are so much worse. It's really something when you when you have to read a long text, but you're trying to do the same accent to just not slide into like. I really kind of wanted to start from the beginning in that John Lennon one because it's so good. Hey, I, I should have led with that initially because I feel like that's my most powerful. Yeah. Mm. Hey, John. Or Ringo, whatever. <laughs> hey, John. We're just gonna go down on the Queen Consort. <laughs> You can't do this. I, can't, I get being obsessed with the... Well, I don't get being obsessed with the royals, but this is profoundly unwell. You can't do this. I guess you can. I can't... You, you don't want to... They just people. did, and we you just, just did. did. So, you know, the best thing you can say about other people's things is you just say, it's not for me, you know? That's and true. I, I'm going to go out on a limb and say that this specific brand of erotica glorifying the royals... It's not for me. That's, that's you know fair. what, and that's a brave stance, but it's important to take it. Thank you. Well, I think that's enough of that for today. Yeah, I would like to take a quick break to go and puke a little bit.